Wow, you're very welcome to this special episode of Bogey Africa. We're reaching out to you from Bujumbura, right here in Burundi. Isaac, are you still there? All right, so we have so much packed for you. Burundi is like um, an untapped destination. It has a lot of potential. It has a lot of natural resources and the people are keen on developing their country. So also is their government and there's a lot of partnerships going on right now. So don't miss the train. Hop on. Let's take you around Burundi. The most beautiful beaches in sub-Saharan Africa, rich in history and aquatic splendor, are in West Africa. They are the constant reminders of the transatlantic slave trade and also harbor the most amazing fish market and beach life. These and more have made the coastal cities of West Africa, Badagri and Calabar in Nigeria, Wida and Benin Republic, Cape Coast in Ghana, Cape Lahu in Cote d'Ivoire, Providence Island in Liberia, Banana Island in Sierra Leone, Kasho in Guinea Conakry, Kontakinte Island in the Gambia, Gori Island in Senegal. These are historical and heritage assets waiting to be explored. Destination West Africa seeks to spotlight these interesting common narratives through the promotion of these heritage destinations to boost inter-regional travels, trade and investments across the region. Destination West Africa beckons. Gogi Africa team arrived Burundi on a four-day farm tour at the instance of His Excellency Elijah Ponyawa, the Nigerian ambassador to Burundi. On arrival at Bujumbura, the capital city of Burundi, we were taken straight to meet with the mayor of Bujumbura at the city center. It was a meet and greet session which also coincided with the visit of Pinnacle Investment Club International. These are also high net worth individuals from Nigeria checking out investment opportunities in Burundi. Before you are the members of Pinnacle International <coughs> Investment Club, I will allow everybody just to introduce themselves and then in between them are uh, also people that have um, a lot of interest in tourism. Their business is basically to travel across Africa and showcase African tourism. Je vais permettre à ces personnes de se présenter une à une et parmi eux, il y a des gens qui sont intéressés par le tourisme, que ce soit en Afrique. Et pour eux, le tourisme, c'est très business. Nous allons discuter de leur business au point de vue de l'économie. Je leur expliquer de comment ils peuvent faire des business. Officiel et non officiel.
hospitality was top notch. We ordered mukeke for dinner and they brought sangara because um, mukeke has finished and Isaac said he wanted sangara. This is sangara with vegetable. Sangara is another very sweet fish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me take a good look at mine. Oh. And of course I ordered the same thing for you. Yeah, so it's gonna be a sangara night. Hello, Moses. Hello. And I'm about to enjoy my meal. A uh, Burundi meal. Sangara. His Excellency insisted that Kogi Africa team should experience three of the best facilities in Burundi, namely Kiriri Garden Hotel, Hotel Club du Lac, Tangaika, and Olivia Hotel. We also had a meeting with the Ministry of Sports, Youth and Culture. A drive through the city to Lake Tangaika towards the border town of Burundi and Congo DRC revealed a stable, peaceful country on a growth trajectory as evidently seen 
in Bujumbura. All right, viewers, this is, we are right here at the border between DRC and Burundi. Yes. This is the border town. Border town, this is our Burundi. Can you see the flag? And this is a DRC. Yeah. And this is me. I told you I'm here. Yeah. The entertaining rhythm of Burundi was so immersive, we got in on the drumming ensemble. The cruise started on River Rusizi, brownish in color, about 117 kilometers long. All right, this expedition has started. Yes. Yes, let's go there. Yay. The fun in Burundi has started. Yes! River Rusizi, also great for bird watching. The high points of the cruise was encountering the hippos 
and the meeting point of the River Rusizi and Lake Tanganyika. We're going to enter Lake Tanganyika right now. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Can you see the contrast? This is blue. This one over here is brown. Oh my God. From, from Rusizi to Lake Tanganyika. Oh my God. of the ambassador uh, of Nigeria to Burundi and she has taken out her gracious time to show us around and we are so happy she's a proud Nigerian a great ambassador of our great country Burundi is home to a remarkable fauna including lions crocodiles Hippopotamus, buffalo, and more. Burundi is obviously an ideal destination for safari tours, water games, agricultural tourism, and nature tours. Burundi, no doubt, has a rich biodiversity and open for trade and investment in agriculture, real estate, tourism, hospitality, and more. As Neka hopped off to the arts and crafts market at the city center. with investment opportunities and untapped resources. Let's take a listen to what some business tourists from Nigeria had to say while a local threw more light on Burundi. Yeah, Burundi is a beautiful place, weather-wise, you know, manners, cleanliness, and uh, we saw a lot of opportunities here. Well, firstly, the manufacturing sector, the business sectors, tourism, they are all to be exploited here. They are still virgin. Everything here is still open for investment. So I believe that uh, Nigeria has given the opportunity to come in here. We do very well. There are business opportunities here. Uh, it's quite a pleasant one. They are very rich in culture. Um, they have very, very, very big and rich culture, which is quite commendable. It's a lovely place, but uh, we've come to Bali with the government for investment opportunities. We're also at the market and uh, a few estate, real estate uh, companies to also talk about uh, a partnership in building materials with regards to wood preservative. So it's, 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 um, it's a country that's just opening a lot of opportunities here. Burundi is a small and beautiful country. We have um, beautiful people that are welcoming. I'm sure people who have visited Burundi will tell you that. So yeah, that's I can speak and speak and speak about Burundi because it's a country that we've been we have had a different political crisis and people don't know about this country 
and now I think this is the right time and the best time to come and invest in our country because we don't have a lot of investment it's like um, we are growing now we are growing now and this is an opportunity since we don't have a lot of big companies and big uh, you know big investments this is that I mean it's a way to start because we are really opened even our government now is really open to every person who can come and invest in all industries we are really opened all right viewers you're still on to Goge Africa we caught up with Nigeria's ambassador to Burundi ambassador Elijah Onyawa and this is what he had to say don't go away here the service actually uh, uh, Congo DRC and Rwanda at the same time. So it's really, really a big market that uh, any any willing investor should actually look at. Uh, to add to it, uh, the president of the country, President Avaris Ndaishimi, has assured that the government will do everything possible to create a level playing ground and to make him, make make the economy an investor friendly economy. And when it was time to go. It was hard to say goodbye to beautiful, friendly Burundi. Above all, our hard-working ambassador extraordinaire, Ambassador Elijah Onyawa and his beautiful family. We surely are coming back this way soon. Africa. And for those of you who love to travel, stand by now for travel tips. Here are some generic driving advice at a game ranch and nature reserve in Africa. You should only travel in a vehicle that is well serviced and road worthy. It is best to drive in a convoy. Remain on the paths at all times and do not leave them so you will not experience nasty surprises. Speed needs to be reduced to the advised limits. Remember, this is a game drive. On a self-drive, stay in your vehicle at all times. You will put yourself in danger if you get out of your car anywhere unless at a designated safe place. If you are close to an animal and observing it, take note of its behavior. If it looks agitated in any way or paces up and down, then move away slowly. The only animal that can really take you on in a vehicle is an elephant and they could be dealt with mostly by just holding your ground with the engine of the vehicle turned off. Revving the engine or hooting is not a good idea as this might be seen as a challenge, a contest where the odds are not on your side. Until we come your way again, travel in comfort and bon voyage. Well, 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 you have seen that Burundi is a country driven with tourism potentials, investment opportunities, and ready to go. So, you're welcome to Burundi! Alright, join us again on another expedition. Ciao! We're out of here.